Hello friends, uh, welcome to this discussion where I want to look at polynomials. So if you are watching this video from TikTok, um, please consider uh, following our TikTok page. Some applies the Facebook page, WhatsApp channel, and also not forgetting the YouTube channel. So for all the social media platforms that have been mentioned, the name is Namakando the Scientist Academy, except for the WhatsApp channel, which is Namakando the Scientist. And also same applies with uh, the TikTok page also. Okay, so in this discussion, We'll look at mathematics where we'll be discussing a very interesting topic that is known as polynomial. So we'll look at polynomial in this discussion and uh, please make sure you watch the video from start to finish. Okay, so let's get started. So this might be the first time you're coming across this word polynomial but i'm sure you might be familiar with uh, the word poly so this is a combination of poly put together with nomio forming polynomial so this poly simply a terminology that not only is used in mathematics we use it in different uh to mean different things but it always goes with its own meaning and you can agree with me that poly has to do with something that has many things to look at. Yeah. And nomio, this talks about parts in mathematics, which can also be referred to as terms. Putting this together, we're looking at an expression which simply has many parts. By parts mean that these same parts are being separated by either a positive or a negative sign yeah and these are not just expressions but these are simply known as algebraic expressions so that's what we have okay so we've said that the polynomial is an expression with main parts now what that you need to notice is that this is simply a function and the function gives us coefficients and uh, variables so definitely where variables as it is stated say it's an algebraic now one that you need to notice is that a polynomial simply uh, is a function that is expressed in a certain form so all polynomials obey this form or this law so they are written in the form of say function so say function expressed as p of x well, we have that this would be a subscript of n multiplied by x to the power n plus a to the power n minus 1, x to the power n minus 1, plus, so I can put those that to indicate that there are other terms that are not add included there then x to the power 2 plus a1 x to the power 1 plus a naught like this so this is the form in which all polynomials are expressed here you have that a subscript of n a subscript of n minus 1 all these are simply coefficients all these are coefficients by that we mean these are numbers yeah or rather i would say these are integers and uh, x in this case is our variable x is a variable and uh, the ones that we have as n n minus one two one all these these are simply exponents of our given expression 
Okay, so we stated that a polynomial obeys this this expression. Or polynomial functions are in this order. Now there's one thing that we need to notice here. This one, this one, this one, and that one, and this one. These are all constants. X, X. So each part, as we can see here, there is a variable X. But the difference is they all have different exponents. Here we have N. The next one is N minus 1. Then and other ones that we didn't include, but what to indicate this does to mean that there are some missing items. Then we went to this one, which has x to the power 2. The next one, x to the power 1. The next one, x is not being shown here. That is to say that x raised to the power 0 in the when you raise a value to the power 0, that simply gives us a 1. And 1 times this coefficient simply gives us the same coefficient. Now, one thing that you need to notice that here the power is n, and this is the highest power you get. This is smaller than this one by a 1, just like that. So, for each part that follows, the power reduces by 1. And as you can see, being that n here is the highest power, this n is simply referred to or known as the degree of the polynomial so the highest exponent you get in the polynomial is simply known as the degree of the polynomial so as long as you have the highest power in that polynomial that is simply known as the degree of the polynomial so that's what we have so friends since we've uh, defined the polynomial and what is involved in the polynomial now let's give examples of uh, polynomials these are functions by the way so let's give examples so we can look at the first one which is or say x squared minus 7x plus 10 so this is a polynomial with three parts yeah so this is a quadratic by the way but it's still a polynomial now the degree here, as you say, the degree here would be a 2. This is the highest uh, power we have in this expression. We can go to the second one. So we can give an example of the second polynomial. So the degree here is 1. Because the highest power we have for x is simply 1. Then we can go to the next one. We can try the next polynomial. So like this, as you can clearly see what is being written. So this is our polynomial. The degree for this one is simply a 4. That's the highest exponent we have. The degree we have is simply a 4. So that's how we go. These are the examples of